What is up guys, it's Chu here, bringing you another review on Baruto. This episode heavily focused on two characters. One that I honestly think deserved to get more shine. And the second one that we would never expect. And honestly, I am very pleasantly surprised of how well this episode went. Mostly because, like I said, this is two characters that we would never expect getting this kind of like showtime or like I guess shine and like I always say but the fact that they also work together was an also great thing but the episode starts off with Shikadai having issues with teamwork he's very impulsive and he's very uh, he's not thinking like he normally would he's not acting like himself and he kind of jeopardizes his mission along with the rest of his team members but of course in the end they do succeed However, they do cause a small explosion that later in the episode does make an impact. We then get to see him kind of with a flashback as to why he's like that. It all traces back to about a month ago when his father had to be dealing with, uh, we had an older man, uh, I guess elder, I'm just going to call him elder because I can't remember his name. He's, he wasn't even that important. but. The Elder, who was part of the Feudal Lords, he actually wants Shikamaru to actually step it up to see that Shikadai has a lot of potential and that he doesn't have to necessarily waste his time with being a ninja. He can be a, something useful to the clan. Unfortunately, because of a lot of their members of their clan retired due to the last ninja war, we have Shikamaru kind of being the face and the, the most prominent man of the whole clan and so which a lot a lot of responsibility on Shikamaru we have Shikadai overhearing that making him think maybe he should help a little bit and we see how this elder actually goes and kind of convinces him to you know possibly consider being a politician that how he could be useful for the family and all that good stuff and of course for Shikamaru who really does truly care for his family you know, he does consider it. He's not sure at first, uh, but then he's later convinced. And then he actually tells the rest of his, I guess, friends. And we see how he tells his teacher. And, of course, they are all in shock. The only one that actually doesn't know is Baruto, who in this episode played a perfect role of a mute character. Because, honestly, I didn't want to see Baruto. Uh, I didn't want to see this like him running his mouth and you know being the usual him but the interesting part of like when he actually tells everyone he tells Denki who again like I said is a character a lot of us wouldn't expect though but he's in a very similar situation as Shikamaru I mean Shikadai is when it comes to having a lot of pressure due to your father or your, you know your father figure and as we know Denki's father runs the biggest company or electrical or technology more technical advance uh, company in the village and so a lot of responsibility is on this boy but when they actually go back to the same scene where they were you know had that I guess that uh, mission to stop these bandits we see how the electrical stuff or the explosion that was caused by Shik Shikadai actually comes back and like bites him in the butt uh, and both of them actually have to work together in order to have this, uh, have the place not blow up. It looks like it's bad. It even gets worse with the situ as the sh situation goes on. But luckily, we have Denki actually saying things that Shik Shikadai had actually been wondering. You know, because we had that conversation between Shikamaru and Shikadai about being, you know, is if this is something you want to do. Let it be because you actually want to, not because you're forced to. And we even saw Tamari, who, in the very beginning of the episode, she was actually invited to a dinner, a very important dinner, that Shikamaru wasn't really feeling it going. It wasn't his kind of thing. I mean, we know Tamari was supporting Gara, and I love the chemistry about this family, honestly. Yeah, T Tamari comes off as a badass, like she is, and she's rough on her, on her husband and, you know, son. However, she truly loves him. 
And although she was a bit surprised hearing the news about him being this, she was also being supportive. So had she could have actually gone with this route of his life, I think he would have been a very good, uh, I guess, politician. Though I would never imagine anyone from the Nara clan to be a politician. I mean, Shikamaru was very smart when he was younger, but never once had he considered a position of that sort. But when Deki actually tells him, you know, I'm here because, you know, this is to make a difference, not only for my family, but for the village, you know, I'm here for the village. And, like, when it is time for me to take over the company, I'll be the first ninja president. And I was like, you know, no one has actually ever done that. So that would be very dope. And with those words, we hear how kind of Shikadai basically has his, like, eyes truly open to the possibilities of actually doing things differently. He doesn't have to necessarily do it the way it was done before. And the cool thing is, we actually see him using a wind ability. That was something that I always wondered. Like, why didn't Shikadai ever use his mother's ability? And we see that, and I thought that was super dope to kind of, like, how he ends up the episode using it and wanting to train to use it more. But overall, guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the video. And as always, guys, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I will catch you later.